Surprising some World of Adventures resort and of course to our lovely Sea Lion Bay this afternoon. So is everyone having a good day so far? Yes! I think we can do better than that. I said is everyone having a good day so far? Yes! Excellent. So my name is Cody. I'm one of the Sea Lion trainers here at Chesington World of Adventures resort and I'm joined by my good friend Carla here on the beach giving you a nice big wave hello there. So can everyone say hello to Carla for me? just one of our four California sea lions that we have here at Chesington. So she, along with her sister Ariel, came over here from the Odent Zoo in Denmark a few years ago. Whereas our two boys, Harley and Dante, they were both born here at Chesington World of Adventures Resort and have lived here for their whole lives. Now Carla is the goody two-shoes of our group and she absolutely loves attention adventurers. So, Carla, what we like to see from the adventurers, so lots of clapping and lots and lots of cheering as well. So, we're going to give this a try, adventurous. So after three, we want you to be as loud as you can. So one, two, three. Yay! I thought that was pretty good. Carla, what did you think? No. Oh. Do you think I could do better? Should we give it one more try? Okay then. So adventurous, we'll give that one more try. Now we'll be as loud as you can. One, two, three. Yay! Carla, what did you think of that? She was very impressed. Well done, adventurous. So, throughout the show, if Carla does do anything at all to impress you, please do clap and cheer her along and let her know that she's doing a good job for you all. Now, as I said, Carla is the goody too. She's of the group. She absolutely loves her training time. She likes lots of back rubs, playing with lots of toys, and more than anything in the world, Carla loves to eat. Now, can anyone guess what Carla's favourite food is? Shout it out for me. Fish, exactly, and Carla really does love fish. So here at Chesington, we feed our sea lions on a varied diet of fish. This includes herring, mackerel, capelin, sprat, and smelt, just to name a few. Now, sea lions are excellent hunters, and they do so by using their whiskers. Now, as you can see on either side of Carla's nose, she has two very large sets of thick whiskers. Now, these are so sensitive, they can detect fish from up to two whole metres away in the water. So this enables them to hunt in the deep, dark, murky waters of the ocean. Now, although sea lions are excellent hunters, unfortunately, they are not the top of the food chain. There are things that do like to eat them. Now, Carla is a fantastic actress, and she's going to show you something that might like to eat her in the world. So, you know what it is? Shout out nice and loud for me. So, Carla, take it away. Shout What's she pretending to be? A shark. A shark. Let's give her a big round of applause. Now, to get away from a shark, it is pretty simple. All our sea lions have to do is simply hop onto land just like that, and they are nice and safe. However, there is another predator that likes to eat our sea lions. Now, this one is big, black, and white, and is a member of the dolphin family. Does anyone know this animal is? Big, black, and white. A killer whale, yes, or an orca. Now what these guys do is a behaviour known as beaching, which Carla will show for you now. So this is where they slide up onto their bellies, onto the shallow waters, and grab sea lions and their pups. However, sea lions have another behaviour up their sleeve, and this is known as porpoising. Now porpoising is where sea lions jump in and out of the water, and when they do this behaviour, they can reach up to speeds of 25 miles per hour. So they are incredibly fast animals. Now, as you see, they twist and turn as they go, creating lots of bubbles and lots of water movement, so they are able to deter their predators away. So let's give Carla a big round of applause for getting away from our imaginary predators. Now, there is one more threat out there in the ocean. It is not a predator, but I'll give you a clue. There's a lot of you here today watching Carla. Can you guess what this threat might be? Humans. Yes, it's us. Unfortunately, what we do is we overfish and we overlitter our oceans. Now this makes our animals very sad, doesn't it, Carla? Yes, so what you can do to help with this is to stop overfishing, is to make sure you purchase your seafood with the blue MSC logo that Carla is pointing out for you on our orange box here. Now what this logo means is that the fish was caught sustainably, meaning it was caught in the safest way possible for all of our marine life out there in the ocean. Now, you can look out for this in restaurants and supermarket packets as well, but please make sure you are sourcing your food sustainably as it is having a massive effect on our oceans. Now, as for littering, where we'd use trawler nets to bring up all the fish from the ocean and we replace it with plastic. Now, Carla, what might happen if you were to eat a piece of plastic? 
just give her a big ah, oh, everyone. Oh. You okay, Carla? Carla? Okay, Rachel, I'm going to need your help for a second. Carla's being a little bit overdramatic. So after three, I need everyone to shout out, wake up, Carla. So one, two, three. Wake up, Carla. There you go. She was just making sure you were paying attention. Now, obviously, we don't want any of this to happen to our marine life out there in the ocean. And we believe here at Chesington that actions speak louder than words. So in a second, I'm going to be a bit naughty and throw some rubbish into our ocean. So give me a big boo, everybody. And Carla, our eco-warrior, is going to show you exactly where your rubbish belongs. In the bin, let's give her a big round of applause. Now, adventurers, if a sea lion can recycle their rubbish, there's no excuse for you or me, is there? So I think we can all make sure we put the effort into saving our oceans and our environment and making sure you always recycle and put your rubbish in the bin. Now, there is one more thing we would like to talk about here at Sea Lion Bay. Now, this is a case of mistaken identity. Now, Carla is a California sea lion. We even have a huge sign here that says Sea Lion Bay. However, there is another animal that Carla does get mistaken for. It makes her very sad. Can anyone guess what this animal might be? A seal. And what do we think of being called a seal? <laughs> we do not like it at all, adventurers. So, what we are going to do today is Carl is going to teach you the differences between seals and sea lions so that you don't get them mixed up again. Now the first difference is on the side of their heads. So adventurers, what do we all have on the side of our heads? Ears. Ears, exactly. And so does a sea lion. Now as you can see on either side of Carla's head, she has two sticky out, almost Shrek-like ears. Now this is the sign of a pinniped that is part of the sea lion family. A seal, however, doesn't have these. So a seal has no external ears on either side of their head. They are external and these are known as pinholes. So this is just one of the ways you can tell the difference between the two. Now the next difference is the size of their flippers. So can everyone please put their arms up in the air for me nice and high? Hey everyone, look how long your arms are. And we're gonna compare them to Carla's. So they're about the same length in size. However, a sea lion's flippers are a lot stronger than our arms. Carla weighs around 80 kilos and is able to withstand all of her own body weight on just her front flippers. I think that deserves a big round of applause, everyone. Now, a seal has very, very small flippers. So a seal's flipper is only the size of our hands. So they are significantly smaller than a sea lion's. And this means that they have to swim a little bit differently. They have to wiggle their bums a little bit like a fish would, whereas a sea lion uses their long front flippers to propel themselves through the water, almost like how a penguin might swim. Now the last difference between seals and sea lions is the way that they move on land. So as Carla comes up onto the beach, you can see she's quite tall in size, she's very flexible and very agile. She can run, she can jump, she can even climb on rocks as well. However, Carla, how tall is a seal? Can you show all the adventurers how seals move on land? <laughs> they have to shuffle on their bellies like a big fat slug. Let's give Carla a massive round of applause, everyone. Now, after three, I want every single one of you to shout out what animal Carla is, okay? So one, two, three. Well done. Now, I'm going to stop talking for a little bit, and Carla is going to do a little bit showing off you all. So, like to see lots of clapping and lots and lots of cheering. So, Carla, let's take it away.